What is good you guys? This is Steven with All Talk On and today we're going to do a little bit of a review on this uh Bit Phoenix um, Comrade case that I had picked up recently and uh the mo the main reason I want to do a review on it um because there's hundreds of reviews out there. Honestly, I've watched probably more than half of them. But um anyways, the main reason I wanted to take a look at it is because um I don't really see them telling the negative things about this case. Um, cause there is a lot of them and, um, this case's price ranges anywhere from 35 to, you know, let's see, let me, let me get a, a price on it right now at the moment. Um, we'll go to newegg.com and, uh, we'll search up this case real quick and see what we're pricing it at. Okay. So the price we're looking at here is, I don't see it because apparently it's not showing up. Let's type in comrade then. All right, there we go. All right, so the price we're looking at here, $113, $116 um, from Newegg, which um, is is ridiculous um, for this case, I'm telling you right now. I've bought $50 cases that had better build quality than this. Um, We'll go to Google just because I want to give it the benefit of the doubt, and I feel like that's way too high. So we'll we'll go look around um, on Google and see what we can find from other stores. Okay, so about $44.99. Um, $44.99 and these places will charge shipping um, so it'll be about $50, $60 case um, overall it's about $60 is what it's roughing around $59.99 with free shipping um, all the way up to $100 for some reason $116 from Newegg which I have no idea why um, that is the case because these this case is just it's god awful for that price now I got it on sale I got it for $34.99 with uh, Ten dollars shipping from NCIX, and because they gave me a hard time with uh, the processing and the overall shipping of this case, um, there was some back order issues, and it wasn't on back order when I had originally purchased it. So um, I did complain, and I did talk to a few people, and they ended up overnighting me a case, um, literally the day I talked to them because I was really upset. Um, but you know, sometimes you got to do things to get your way, and it's kind of—I mean, I know that would sound like kind of like a bad customer, you know calm down type of deal but I had already been waiting for this case for three weeks that is that is unreasonable that's that's ridiculous I don't care how much it costs $35 doesn't matter I paid you guys $10 shipping how come it's gonna take three weeks to get to me Um, not to mention they screwed up my processing you guys heard me rant about that but that's not even about this case Um, overall I will say this I love the aesthetic of the case the case looks really nice it really does it's got the nice clean like uh, very limited look on it conservative um, and uh, I like that um, not to mention having the case windows really nice too um, but that was purchased separately I bought that off new egg for like 15 bucks or something so that was purchased separately because it was cheaper to buy this case from NCIX and then buy the window from someone else than it was to pay a hundred sixteen dollars from new egg for the case and with that came with the window um, but the aesthetics isn't what I'm complaining about um, for any even fifty sixty dollar case the build quality on this thing is shit. Um, one of the main things, the case feet. There's no rubber grommets, whatever. Don't care about the rubber on the case feet. Um, but they use the little pluggy, plasticky, crappy looking things. Them, and when I got them, they were already about to fall off. So I basically can't touch the feet on this thing, or they'll probably break. Because um, they're already, you can see the plastic's getting the white ring on it that's showing that it's been worn and about to fall off. Um, I did paint the uh, case badge as we can see it's blue um, uh, the overall build quality I mean with the uh, the metal the material they used for this is way too flexible the paint chips way way too easy I mean like sad easy sorry I have my vapor sad easy it, it just it, it, it's horrible um, the metal bends way too easy in fact this case is lopsided it, it rocks back and forth um, one of the case feet was kind of bent in, not the actual foot of the case, but where it plugs into was bent and pushed upward. So um, I actually had to sit there and try to push it down as much as I could and I got it to where it only wobbles a little bit, but it still wobbles, which is kind of, once again, really sad um, for a case that, like I said, I only paid 35 for it. I wouldn't have paid more than 35 for it at all. No, no way in hell. Um, but um, for the fact that it's charged at $50 everywhere else besides NCIX having it on sale for now, um, without that sale, it roughs for about, like I said, $60. And this case is not worth $60. Um, I had my uh, NZXT Phantom 240, which cost me $60. And the build quality was way better than this. The paint was way more um, durable. The materials they built it out of wasn't near as flexible. Not to mention the back of this thing, the PCI brackets. 
um, they're the ones that you pop out once and uh, can't put them back in. So you have to buy separate PCI bracket um, covers to put back in if you ever want to cover them back up. Um, uh, the motherboard tray didn't seem too impressive at all. Um, the wire management is garbage, complete garbage. Um, it, without a case window, it does support um, a Cooler Master 212 Evo. With the case window, if you guys watch my code name Bubblegum update, um, you'll see that I had to cut the two, uh, 212 Evo in order to get it to fit without scratching the crap out of the window and bowing it out. So um, that kind of sucks. I mean, it, once again, that's not necessarily their fault. But I mean, for the fact that there's that complete lack of cable management and then the lack of supporting like one of the most used budget coolers ever. Um, all the videos I watched that these guys were up talking this case saying, oh, for a budget case, it's great. No, for $60, this case is garbage. It's fucking trash. Like I said, I love how it looks. It looks amazing. But as far as the actual quality of it, it is garbage. Complete garbage. Um, uh, let's see. My little brother's case, the... Uh, um, Thermal Take Core V1, right? I, I paid forty dollars for it. The build quality is better than that. Um, my roommate's uh, case, the um, Deep Cool Tesseract, runs for about thirty dollars, not on sale, and I only paid thirty for it. And I think it went up to thirty-five because people were actually buying it. Um, that thing's build quality is a little bit better than this. The cable management on that case is better than this one. Um, it has easy support for a two twelve Evo. Um, and several other things too. Like I said, I'm not really holding it against it for the lack of support with the 212 Evo, but it's just kind of crappy that you're going to have a budget-minded case and not support that cooler because that cooler is one of the most used budget, you know, coolers out there in general. Um, but like I said, that's not really too big of a deal. I was easy, I was able to fix it fairly easily. But the sad part, the sad that makes me really upset with this case is the fact that it it bends so fucking easy. I mean the just trying to pull the back panel off, um, I kind of bent out, bowed out the uh, little overhanging latches on the back that you use the thumb screws to push down into. Bent it from just trying to pull it off. Like, that's ridiculous. This thing is just flimsy as shit. Um, and uh, the case feet on the verge of breaking. The fact that I got the case and there was a dent in the top right here, it bows in a little bit. Um, that was probably a shipping issue. But that just shows how um, shitty quality this case is built um, because I've ordered seven cases already um, that's my phone yeah 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 no okay okay that's fine sure yeah nice well where was I I was talking about the shitty quality of the case that's right so um, overall, like I said, I do like the way it looks and I am happy with my purchase and I would pay $35 for this case because it does look pretty cool. But um, for the fact that you can only get it for 35 bucks on sale is really sad. The fact that Newegg has the balls to charge 120 bucks for this case. And in fact, that's not even Newegg's fault. That's BitPhoenix's fault. Um, I probably won't be buying any other BitPhoenix cases after this um, uh, unless it's on sale, unless it's a deal, you know, it's cheap. Um, but uh, I'm really scared to ship this because, I mean, like I said, I've ordered tons of things, you guys. I'm, I'm addicted to online shopping. I really am. It's fun and sad. Same time. I know when to pay my bills, though, so no worries there. Don't worry about me. But um, I've ordered things. Like, I got things coming from China. I got things coming from the UK. Um, actually, the backplate I ordered for this build is coming from the UK. I have something coming from, like, Netherlands. It's coming from there. I ordered a graphics card from Russia. I mean, and they all got here just fine. This thing comes here from California with a big ass dent in it because uh, UPS sucks. That's why I, I hate UPS. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be shipping this case UPS either. Um, but um, it comes with a big ass dent in it, and that has nothing to do with the how they handle the products because I've ordered stuff all over the world. I've had stuff come in um, in beat up boxes and stuff like that. My monitor came from Korea, um, and the box was torn up. It doesn't matter. It was a good build quality, so it held its shape. This thing couldn't make it from California to here without getting dented. Um, and that's not that's not really even the shipper's fault, the uh, carrier's fault. That's mostly the build quality of this case's fault. Um, as well as other things that I noticed, there's uh, two fans in here, behind here. Um, no ventilation for the fans. They're, I have no idea where they're supposed to get air. There's a small little hole under, under here that you can put your fingers in to pull the front of the case off. There ain't no ventilation, though. There's no cuts on the side um nothing 
And once again, for $60, I feel like that's something they could have put in here. Um, there's only one USB 3.0 port. Why, why is there only one? Um, there's one USB 2.0. Really? They had to make a whole separate cable? They couldn't have just made it two? It's not that hard. I mean, I'm, once again, my brother's case, Thermaltake Core V1 and my case, cheaper than this case, has two USB 2 ports at the front. I don't know why it's only got one. Um, but I will say um, there is some issues with compatibility with USB 3.0 um, with, um, with certain parts. Like, for instance, my webcam uh, doesn't like USB 3.0. In fact, it won't detect the webcam unless it's plugged into 2.0. I have no idea why. Um, my mouse um, is a uh, Razer, what was it? I can't remember, Razer Black Mamba or something. It doesn't like USB 3.0 either. Um, it, uh, it'll work with it, but, uh, if I turn my computer on while it's plugged into it, it won't, it won't work until I unplug it and plug it back in unless it's plugged into 2.0. So I, I guess that's kind of a, kind of a good thing, but at the same time for the price, it should have came with two. Um, let's see what else was there. Um, I, like I said, disappointed in the case feet, completely disappointed in that. Um, these, uh, drive things, uh, they're nothing fancy. They're not the easiest to get in and out. Um, once again, something they could have maybe spent a little bit more time on to figure out how to make these not as annoying as they are. They seem flimsy. Um, they hold their shape well, though. They hold fine. Um, basically, the things that I were, you know, really worried about is the metal on the case. Those are the parts that are really flimsy. And, like, I could literally probably grab this case and push on it hard enough and probably dent it. That, that's how flimsy and thin this metal is. The uh, corners of the uh, panels will, will chip so fucking easy the the uh the paint will come off like nothing like you literally take it and like kind of just touch it to the ground it'll chip the paint off and that's how bad the paint is um the finish is on this now i know that this is a flat white and uh you guys know i paint paint stuff flat white on my whole computer pretty much so i do know that the that it comes off but that's why they make clear coats they make clear coats in the shade of matte white i know they do um they probably did clear coat it, or if not, they just used a matte white or um, a satin white. Um, but either way, they should have made sure that they used a more durable paint on this thing. The fact that you can cheap out on so much on this case, and because your name is Bit Phoenix and charge sixty dollars for it, is outrageous. Um, they definitely could have made it to where you had removable PCI cover slots that could go back on. Like that. Once again, my brother's case, my case. Um, cheaper than that. My roommate's case didn't, but that's because that thing runs $35 regularly. Comes with two fans um, and they're LED fans. Um, this comes with one fan. And oh, that's another thing the fan. Uh, I'm actually throwing it away. Um, it makes this ridiculous noise. It buzzes and makes like this hissing noise when it's running. I actually have it unplugged. I won't, I won't use it. So it's going to get thrown out um, and replaced with a different fan. So, the, the, I mean, even the fan this thing came with was horrible. The plus sides, it does have fi uh, mesh filters in the front. has one underneath for the power supply. It's definitely a nice feature. Now, um, the main reason I picked this case was because of how small it was and the clean look it has. Um, I wanted something tinier. I wish that they would have put the PSU maybe at the top. Uh, but then again, it would have been inhaling graphics card air, which probably wouldn't have been the best idea. So maybe it's better that they keep it at the bottom. But, um... I, did, I wanted it because it was smaller, but I wish that they would have expanded it maybe half an inch more um, so that way the Cooler Master 212 would have fit easier and then given the other quarter inch to cable management because you literally have about that much space in between the back wall and it's like it's not even enough to fit the 24 pin connector. Um, so I have no idea how I'm going to run my sleeving cable, uh, sleeved cable extensions through this power or through this case. I, you got me. I'm going to try and figure it out um, once I get the wires, as you guys see. Ooh, a whole bunch of them. So we have a 24 pin, 8 pin, and two 6 pins. So these are already sleeved blue, but um, I'm going to be re-sleeving them. But um, yeah, so I mean, don't buy this case. Unless it's on sale and you really have to have this look, don't buy this case. Um, otherwise, it's pretty cool. There's another thing um, right here. The LED is so bright, and they put no reinforcement um, plastic in between here and it's white they should have put something behind it the LED actually glares through right here so the lights on the side right here to glow up the power button which the power button is a full white so 
what they're trying to light up I have no idea they basically just took a light and put it behind solid white plastic and let the whole so this whole corner lights up right here and then right here lights up so it's not like on uh, on my PC which has the power light separate I don't know why my camera went out of focus there we go so I, it's not like how my PC has a light up or um, some of the other cases you may see have like somewhat of a little clear power button so the light can come through it or a clear ring around it so the light goes through it not this case this case just has a straight regular power button no stripping around it to, for, to let the light through and basically they just stuck a light behind it so that this whole side will just glow so you can see the light glowing through right here in this front part of the case which kind of really ruins the aesthetic and I'll go ahead and pop it off and show you guys what I did to get rid of that so right here see that black that's electrical tape basically you stick something right here that's what I'm saying that's all they had to do was put a little black right here or right here and it would have it would have stopped that whole problem but they didn't do it so um, as you can see we have our fans where the fans are going to be going um, I just ordered so they'll be coming in no ventilation whatsoever but I'm gonna stick fans in there anyways so um, we'll see how that goes there is a nice fan filter that is a good feature that they did have um, here and as well as these um, they look like they are detachable but once you pull them off they're gonna stay off but they did give you some screws to put back on here so you can actually put some screws here to kind of mount these uh, little brackets back on unlike the ba uh, brackets in the back so that is nice that they did that um, but yeah like I said the little things in this case that weren't taken care of and for the price of it is just really kind of sad um, I think that whoever designed this case um, and decided that we're going to use the thinnest material possible the cheapest paint possible we're going to cut out a crap ton of features and then we're going to throw it on the market for sixty dollars is outrageous so anyways you guys that's my little rant and pissed off review on the bitphoenix uh... comrade case though i do like it i wouldn't buy the neos either because they're basically the same case they use the same side panels by the way when i was buying my window it says comrade slash neo or neos or whatever so they use the same case panels so i'm pretty sure that thing is the exact same just a different front so i'd stay away from that case in this case because they're cheaply made um, they look cool they're nice for that you know that you know that feature they look nice but other than that complete complete garbage don't buy it anyways you guys this is Steven with all talk on and I'll catch you guys later